hey what is up youtube welcome to another youtube video today we're gonna upgrade the creality ender 3 pro uh, to a 32-bit motherboard so as you can see here i already opened the bottom enclosure and here is the main board which is the version 4.2.7 and today we're gonna upgrade it to a b3 tech SKR Mini E3 version 2.0 along with a Big Tree Tech TFT 35 E3 version 3.0 as you can see I'm gonna install the heat sinks that came with the kit. All right, so this is good. As you can see, the heat sinks are installed. The upgraded SKO Mini E3 is installed and this is the original uh, motherboard as you can see this can be used as a backup uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the display we're gonna connect it to power and test it this goes right here Alright, so before installing the upgraded touchscreen, I'm going to boot it up 
and see if everything works first. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Alright, it turns on Marlin version 2.0.x. Alright, everything works as you can see. Now I'm gonna try to go home. Everything is uh, perfect. All right, so we successfully upgraded the main board. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the screen with this touch screen. Now this is going to go right here. Alright, I think I'm going to have to peel this off. Alright. Alright, so this is good. Next, I'm gonna connect the display connector. Right here. And then the kit also comes with a different connector that you have to connect to the main board onto the display. Uh, this side goes to the display, and this one goes to the SKR Mini E3. So you're going to look for the pin labeled TFT. I don't know if you can see it. But this is it right here. As you can see, this is labeled TFT. So we're going to go ahead and connect this onto it. So this is going to go this way with the split cable Go to the reset button. This is right here, and then the remaining split cable is going to go to the last pin, which is the reset pin. Right, that's good. Then we're going to run the wire to the display that's around here. All right, from here, we're going to install the cover back on. Uh, before putting the screws back on, I'm going to do some cable management. The other end of the cable goes right here to RS-232. Just like this. Alright, then the knob. Next is some wire management, 3D printed disc clips, alright, 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 so the upgrade is successful as you can see. Let's go to the settings. We can go to the info 
and as you can see here is the information this is a TFT 33 E3 version 3.0 and the firmware version is v uh, 3.0.26.x uh, last update was June 15 2020 I uh, already made a video on how to update the firmware on these systems it was the TFT 70 with a 7 inch display this one is a uh, 3.5 inch I will pin the video of that on the top right if you want to check it out now we have spare parts as you can see and we're gonna go ahead and test the print quality alright now we're gonna launch a test print it's gonna be the Benchy Alright, so the Benchy is 3D printed. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is a flexible filament. As you can see, it's completely flexible. You can fold it, as you can see, squish it. So as you can see, not perfect, but it's uh, really decent for default settings, flexible filament, little bit of stringing, the edges are good, the quality is really acceptable for flexible filament. I think I just have to adjust the retraction settings to get rid of these stringing other than that as you can see it's a really nice looking piece so yeah we successfully upgraded this Creality Ender 3 Pro uh, with a STR Mini E3 and a TFT35 touchscreen both from Big 3 Tech I'm looking forward to making a follow-up video on this upgrade so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video